Number 105. Describe the molecular structure around the indicated atom or atoms. And then we want to find the molecular structure for the oxygen atom in the OH group in nitric acid, which is HNO3, or also written as HONO2. Okay. So we want to find the molecular structure. Another way to say molecular structure is molecular geometry. And a molecular geometry or a molecular structure always comes from a Lewis structure. So bad memories, good memories? I don't know. I love Lewis structures, though. Um, that's me personally. But anyway, if you want to find out a molecular structure, which is this big chart right here, the easiest way to go about it is to draw out a Lewis structure. Take a couple of seconds, draw the Lewis structure out, and just so that you could visualize what's actually happening, it would be way easier to pick the correct molecular structure. Now, your teacher professor may give you this chart on your test or quiz. Uh, my professors and my teachers, they weren't so nice, so they... You know, we had to memorize these, um, but I'm posting it up on here just so that you guys have it so that we could use it. But use flashcards if you need to, you know, put, um, put maybe, you know, the word of the molecular structure on one side and then just go with what, uh, what it calls for. Like if you have four, a uh, total of four atoms or three atoms and one lone pair. But anyway, let's find the molecular structure. So we did tons of videos just trying to find out, you know, how to draw the Lewis structures. So if you need to look at those videos, you could always go back uh, to the channel in which we go step by step for those. Um, but this will kind of be like a quick inversion. You can pause the video if you want to try to draw the Lewis structure for HONO2 and see if yours matches mine. Now they gave us a little hint here by saying that it's a hydrogen bound to an oxygen bound to a nitrogen, and then bound to these two oxygens. So that's what we're going to do. So let's use that backbone. So we have a hydrogen that's bound to an oxygen. Uh, no, uh oh, bound to an oxygen. So that's this, which is bound to a nitrogen, which is then bound to two oxygens. Notice how, oh, what happened to that guy? Notice how they didn't write it out as N-O-O. -O. No. <laughs> um, this would indicate that the nitrogen is bound to an oxygen, which is then bound to another oxygen, like this. But since they drew it as N-O-2, we know that those two oxygens are bound to the nitrogen. Now, it doesn't matter whether you put one up top and one on the bottom or on the side. doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one on top and one on the side. Okay, we got our general backbone. Now let's put in our, um, our lines, right? Our, our bonds and our lone pairs. Hydrogen always has one bond, so there's that. Everybody else has at least one bond. And now we start looking for the octet. Oxygen has six valence electrons, so if it uses the two uh, for the bond here, it's got four electrons, two lone pairs, and this has the octet. The same thing goes for maybe the oxygen on the top. We'll get a double bond. That's the two electrons. And then you got the four lone pairs. And then if we try to do the same thing for this oxygen, if we add one more bond and the two lone pairs, the nitrogen, uh -uh, the nitrogen is like, whoa, buddy. I got five bonds. I got 10 electrons. I can only have eight. I can only have the octet rule. So instead, this oxygen will have a single bond and then six electrons. Now, there are secret formal charges here. So that could be a, a nice refresher if you guys want to test out your formal charges. Can you guess which elements have a charge and what charge is it? I'll just post it up here that the nitrogen will have a positive charge and this oxygen will have a negative. And do we really need to know that to do molecular geometry? Absolutely not. It's just a, a fun fact. But anyway, we want to find out the molecular structure specifically of the oxygen in the OH group. So there's three oxygens. Which one are they talking about? It's the one that's bound to the OH 
This has to be the oxygen. Okay. So we, we picked the element. So now we just list out what it's got. This is where we start using the chart. We have to find out the total number of atoms and lone pairs around that atom. So for oxygen, it's got a hydrogen. Maybe I'll draw it like this. It's got a hydrogen as one atom, and then it's got the nitrogen on the other side. Notice how we don't care about these oxygens because it's not directly bound to the uh, atom that we're trying to find the molecular geometry and the molecular structure for. So we got two atoms. And then look for the lone pairs. There are two of them. One and two. So two atoms and two lone pairs. So the first thing is, is you got to get the total number. So two plus two, you just add them, is a total of four. So now we're in four land. So I go down and I go to the four column. There are three answers. This could either be tetrahedral, trigonal pyramid, or trigonal pyramidal, or vent. Nobody really says angular. That comes from how many lone pairs you had. And since we said that we had two lone pairs, we're in here. And voila, where did they meet? Right here. So we are bent. Nobody, nobody cares about angular. Get rid of this. Does your teacher or professor say angular? Let me know. I've, I've, me personally, for everybody that I've helped and for tutoring, you know, private tutoring, I've never heard angular. Everybody says bent. But anyway, um, so yeah, two atoms, two lone pairs. This oxygen has a molecular geometry or a molecular structure of bent. Um, if we needed to know the bond angles, just know that these bond angles are a little bit less than 109. Some teachers or professors may say 109.5, which is what I learned it as. I think the oxygen, uh, the, the, um, the bent number is like 104.5. So it's a little bit less than 109. But they just wanted the structure, so it's just bent. And that's it. I hope this helps. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys, and I hope you're having a great day. Keep studying hard, and I'll talk to you soon, okay? Thanks for all your kind comments. Thanks for, thanks for being part of the community. My brother and I, we really do appreciate all you guys, and we're so happy that we can help you uh, in your classes. Check the channel out. We've also got physics and math videos, so we can help you out in those classes as well. And I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.